a smart device that protects us from the short circuit and overloads, which is called miniature circuit breaker or MCV. At present day, every house has MCV installed in the main line. According to the load, MCV can be of many types, such as 6 ampere, 16 ampere, 32 ampere. The earlier fuse box was used in the house. This fuse box contains a fuse wire through which current flowed. The melting point of this fuse wire is very low. If the resistance and current flowing time of a particular wire are constant, the heat generated in the wire is proportional to the square of the current. So if more current flows through the wire, more heat will be generated in the wire. During a short circuit, the current flow in the circuit increases. And if the current flow suddenly increases, the fuse burns out very quickly. As a result of which the circuit is cut, that is the flow of current in the circuit is stopped. Now to make the current flow in the circuit, the fuse wire has to be manually installed in the fuse box. That is for every volt, the fuse has to be changed repeatedly. An automatic on-off switch mechanism is used to solve this problem. In normal condition, current flows through it, but when fault current flows in the circuit, the circuit breaks automatically. To turn this circuit on and off automatically, a triggering mechanism is used. There is a central trigger lever. A main lever is connected to it by a rectangular pin and two strings similarly connected to the main trigger lever. Now let's see an interesting physics mechanism. In this version, the main lever handle is down and two strings also are in normal condition. Lifting the main lever upward, that is applying an upward force on the lever creates a torque on the main lever. As a result of this torque, a downward force acts against this upward force. The lower string accompanying the trigger is compressed and the upper string is expanded. The resultant force of these two springs is transferred to the main lever by means of a rectangular pin. The resultant force of this string and the downward force of the lever are in opposite directions. The resultant force of these two force is called the offset force. If the direction of this offset force is to the left of the center of the main lever, a clockwise torque will be produced on the lever, which will move the lever down. Similarly, if the direction of the offset force is to the right of the center of the lever, an anti-clockwise torque will be produced in the lever, which will move the lever upwards. Interestingly, if the direction of the offset force is along the center of the main lever, the lever stays in this position. In this case, by applying a slight force, the lever can automatically move up or down. For this slight force, a electromagnetic coils are used. When there is an electrical fault, the flow of current in the circuit increases. A moving charge or a current steps up or creates a magnetic field in the space surrounding it. And the magnetic field exerts a force on a moving charge or a current in the field. So when current flows through this coil, a strong electromagnetic force is created. This coil consists of an iron cylinder and a fin. Due to the electromagnetic force generated in the coil, the iron cylinder exerts a force on the fin below. And the fin heats the trigger, that is little force is applied to the trigger. This causes the trigger to move the lower contact plates from its previous position. And for the trigger mechanism, the circuit breaks. Even if the circuit breaks, since high current flows in the circuit, current can also flow through the air. As a result, fire arc is formed. To solve this problem, arc runner is used in MCV. Small metal plates are kept parallel. It is called arc runner. As a result of this arc runner, the high current breaks down into small poles and arcing stops. So friends, it is possible to automatically protect from short circuit using this mechanism. Apart from short circuit, one more problem overload can be solved with this MCV. In overload condition, the current flow in the circuit also increases, but not as much as in short circuit. 
biometallic plate is used in MCV to solve this problem. If too much current flows through the biometallic plate, the biometallic plate heats up and bends. As a result, the connection breaks. For more such informative videos, subscribe to the Physics First YouTube channel. If you like the video, please like and share. If you have any other advice, you can ask in the comment box. Thank you for watching Physics First.